Let me show you something, brother. Come, can you come? Can you help me? Can you help me? I want everybody in here. I want the music to start up. I want the drums to start up. And I want you to give me some shout music. And I want everybody in here. I want you to start clapping and dancing. And I want you to begin to praise God. And come on, just start praising God. See, this is what was happening. And they said, wait a minute. He, 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 he's dead. So, somebody just died. You know what? You know what David did? He said, wait a minute, God. You want me to take your glory? your people but if you're going to kill people you got to show me when was the last time that we as preachers and teachers have stopped and asked the Lord how do you want me to handle this ministry wait, wait. See, see I understand something we are so stuck on the people that we have hired because see in the body of Christ now everything you do you gotta get a check you can't sing a song unless we pay you you won't beat the drums unless we pay you you won't lead testimony service unless we pay you and y'all don't like it and I don't care but the Holy Ghost told me to bring it down tonight you won't lead prayer service unless we pay you you know what you're not servants you're people we've hired you say you got did somebody prophesy to you in the parking lot that don't know your lifestyle who have you sat under and got broken before you picked up your bible and made yourself some cards and said you're going to preach I don't care how many doors open for you if God don't send you you coming back because you are illegal in the gospel You don't even. Y'all sit down because I got to do this. I got to do this tonight. 
You know who he represents? He represents the part of the church that feels like I don't have to pray. I don't have to fast. 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 Fasting for this church in this hour is like a special event. We pass our flyers and we say I yearly fast. I'm not talking about a yearly fast, baby. I'm talking about something that God does in your spirit where he can wake you up in the middle of the night and say don't eat for 10 days. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm not talking about these little mamsy pamsy denials where you eat soup and you eat one meal a day. I'm talking about turning your plate down. The Bible said these kind come out. That's why they're not coming out. You can't counsel a devil. You have to cast a devil out. Pastor, can I see you? Pastor, can I have an appointment? Pastor, can I see you? Pastor's list is long. Got a whole line outside of his office full of people that want to be counseled when they need demons to be casted out. And we don't preach like that no more. Because you know what we've learned to do in the church? We've learned to control our demons. We've learned to master our demons. We've learned how to all oh, y'all ain't gonna talk back in here tonight. And you got people that are in the body of Christ that are practicing witchcraft. You got people that's laying hands on other people and transferring spirits on other people. God help us tonight. And some of us that don't have any discernment got the audacity to look at these people and say, oh honey, she's anointed. She's speaking tongues when she's full of demons. The Bible said that Talking about buses. I heard God speak down in my spirit. He said, Go get my church. He said, Go get my people. Because he said, There is a people. I don't want to believe this. But all of us don't want an earring in our nose. All of us don't want our hair purple and green. you don't understand prophetess we living in a new day it ain't like it used to be so you gotta you gotta work this thing different than you used to so then what are you asking me to do I want to ask you what are you asking for me to do are you saying to me that I am supposed to after consecrating and praying and laying before God that I'm supposed to come to church and sit in my seat and watch people get up on the platform and hunk their bodies and slide like the world. And I'm to say nothing, the devil is a liar. Honey, wait a minute. I didn't live saved. Let me tell y'all something. When I was little and I was growing up, my mother and them didn't let us do a lot of stuff. We couldn't wear pants. We couldn't wear hot pants. We couldn't wear makeup. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? And are you saying to me, mama, that out of all them years, that I couldn't do all this stuff, that I end up here, and all I get out the deal is a choir and a praise and worship team? I don't think so. Are you saying to me that I gave up the world to come into church, and all I get is entertainment? I gave up the world gave up the world to come in here to the world where our preachers are wearing earrings oh y'all see I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna say yes I'm on TV our preachers are wearing earrings 
Knights. And it's supposed to be a macho thing? No, it's a homosexual thing. One life in church, one life on your job, another life in your home, and the Holy Ghost said it's time to bring all of your personalities together so God can get you free. He said it's only one way. See, I understand what I'm trying to say to you. Sit down. I'm, I'm, I'm almost finished. Sit down. 
He said, clean it out. He said, go home and clean it out. He said, go home and clean it out. Get them dirty magazines and clean it out. Get them hoochie mama clothes and clean it out. Get them bull dagger clothes and clean it out. Get them homosexual necklaces and all of them earrings and clean it out. And be a man for God. Y'all sit down. Because I'm going to tell you something. RuPaul is not going to dress me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I said RuPaul is not going to dress me. Whitney Houston is not going to dress me. Tony Braxton is not going to dress me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? These are not our role models. What's the matter with y'all? What's the matter? Where's the righteous? I said, where is the righteous? Where's the believer? Don't tell me what you believe. I can look at you and tell who raising you. Television is raising you. Vogue magazine is raising you. We can't look like the world. I, I don't know what Bible you read, but this one told me to come out from among them. And be ye separated. See, I don't know what's wrong with the church now. Pastor Bishop, I don't know what's wrong with him. Now, it's all right to listen to Luther. Yeah, Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Now, it's all right to listen to Mary J. Blige. Now it's all right to listen to CD 101.9 jazz. Well, where's your spirit trying to go? I just want to hear what God is saying. Where does that kind of music lead your spirit? And then that's the reason why when it's time to have church, the praise team got to sing for an hour to sing you about all that mess and sing you about all that junk when the Bible said it's time to be holy for an hour. You can't switch that fast. Sit down, I'm almost through. Y'all mad now. Y'all mad now. You can't switch that fast. You cannot talk in tongues. One minute. And then the very next minute. Say my name, say my name. I ain't, I ain't scared of y'all. I am not scared of y'all. I ain't scared of nobody in here. I'm going to say it. And if you're a pastor, the Holy Ghost said you better stop preaching the gospel. He said this is a generation that will not endure sound doctrine. Your belly can't handle a real word from the Lord. That's why everybody slid to the, he gonna bless your message. You want some money? Tap your neighbor. Let's shout. Cause the blessing is coming. So what are he gonna bless you with money for? So you can be a bigger thief? So you can be a bigger hypocrite? Y'all don't like this tonight. Y'all don't like this tonight. So you can compromise. I thought you left the world. I thought when we got saved, Pastor, they told us that we had to give up the world. And I don't know what's going on. They told me that you had to walk circumspect. Back then, that's the word, the power of God was so strong on the elders. You, you wouldn't even think about fornicating and then putting your robe on. You wouldn't even think about 
playing the lottery and then singing on the praise team. Honey, when you walked in church, you were scared to death. And now I'm so sick and tired of seeing all these programmed mammy pamsy salvations where you say two words and they bring you to the altar and give you a little track. Honey, when I got saved, the mothers laid hands on me and they began to cast the devil out. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to know where in the power of God. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the power? Where is it? I don't find it. I don't see it. Where is the power? We can't. We can't just blow on people anymore and think they delivered. We can't just put a little oil and say that's it. We can't preach and our cute clothes no more. Hand on the bush. God, start talking to me. We can't keep up our cute necklaces and our beautiful earrings. When it's time for souls to get saved, we ain't so conscious. We waiting for our next connection. We waiting for who you gonna introduce me to next so I can get in that door, so I can be the next one. So I can be on TV. Honey, the form of God can get you anywhere you want to go. The form of God can get you on TV. The form of God can get you on the radio. The form of God can get you in the back room. But the power of God is what keeps you there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you ain't got no power, you're not going to stay there anyway. He said everything that we get, we should get it through prayer. And supplication. And if you did not get it through prayer and supplication, you are. He said to me today, he said, I didn't tell them to put it on the cart. He said, you go in there tonight and you tell my preachers and you tell national television, you better go back and ask God how to do this thing. Because see, wait, wait, wait. You trying to grow your church on a new cart, on a rocking ox. When some of the people that we don't like is the people that's got the power. Y'all ain't gonna, y'all ain't gonna say nothing on that. Pastor, they don't want to hear that. Some of the, some of the, some of the people that we don't care for are people that are anointed. So what we do is we keep inviting our same old friends. We keep being around some of you pastors in here. The Lord said, I'm getting ready to do something in your ministry. And it's time for you to get somebody else. Uh Uh-huh, because see, the anointing bit off your partners. Your best friends ain't got it no more. But then the same old buddies you invite every year, when God want to do a fresh thing, he want to do something else. He want to break up the politics that is in the church. He want to get rid of the mafia. He want to get rid of the Godfather. Y'all ain't going to let me preach it. He want to get rid of the gangsters that are in the gangs that are putting hits out on people's lives and their ministries. The devil is a liar. Is that how we do it? You don't like him? Well, let me tell you about him. Now, if I was you, I wouldn't have would. Because let me tell you what I heard about him over there across town. Now with you, I wouldn't have it. And here you are on your face before God. Got a powerful word in your mouth. But the mafia of ministry done got you hit. The good fellas done put a bullet in your head. But God said, I'm raising up a nation. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He said, I got a brand new people that y'all don't know nothing about. He said, I got some preachers that's on the back side of the desert. I got some evangelists that's on the back side I got some singers that you ain't never heard of. I got some preachers that you ain't never heard of. And I'm about to take this thing over. I'm about to upset the kingdom. He said, I don't need you. I got somebody else on the bench. They're waiting to take your place. (laughs) 
Let me say this to you. See, when you're playing in the major leagues, coming down the court, it's team ball. But you got to always remember, God got some people that are benched, that could out-preach you, that could out-sing you, that can out-pastor you. Are you hear what I'm saying? He said, if you're going with me, you better stop tonight and ask the Holy Ghost, how should I carry this thing? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Am I carrying it right? Do I have enough prayer with it? Am I purified? God, show me what you want me to take off. Show me how many hours you want me to pray. I can't go another five unless you show me how you want me to carry this thing. Because I believe I'm anointed. But you got to show me. You got to show me how, how, to, how to handle it. Because he said, touch not my anointed. When I was in prayer the other morning, and I closed with this, and I saw caskets, and I saw caskets, and I said, God, I said, what are you doing? He said, let me tell you something. I got a people that are trapped with a bunch of pharaohs, and I got to get them out. He said, Peter and John, he Start preaching a gospel to the rulers and the leaders of the temple. And they thought they had a monopoly of what God was doing. Until, watch this, not in the temple, but outside the church. They saw a man. And the man got healed. Not in the church. See, see, that's why, that's why you got some people that I see y'all all over this place that's just half crazy for God. And you hollering and screaming and people will know, well, why don't she sit down? Well, why don't he shut up? Well, why he so wild? No, baby, because I didn't get healed in the church. <laughs> Honey, what I got, I didn't get it from a personality. I got it from God. And I can't shut up. The Bible said he began to leap and dance and run and jump. That didn't say to me, step one, step two, step three. I got it from somebody that didn't just send me in a corner, Bishop, and said, go read your Bible. I got it from somebody that said, you want the power of God on you? You want it? You want to be healed? Man that's lame from your mother's womb? You want to be set free? Look at me. Fasten your eyes. On me. I am so full of the word to if you look at me, you will get healed. You want you want deliverance? Let a righteous man and a righteous woman come in your presence. They ain't gotta say a word. The Bible said that his shadow. He said all he did was, was just, just, see we play each other down because a lot of y'all looking at me tonight and ain't not my prophet is but somebody see God and he said, he said if you can just get close enough, he said the very presence of the Lord that is on that person just causes something to happen in your spirit and you don't even, they don't even have to lay hands on you, just the fact that they just walk by you and God forbid if they ever decide just to lay hands on you and then God, God forbid if they ever just reach out and go to talk, God, you know, God forbid that the power of God begin to get on them, the God forbid, he said, he said, y'all don't want this, y'all don't want this, y'all don't want this, you don't want this, you don't want it,
He said, he said, he said, Pastor, Pastor Woods, get ready. Gary Oliver, get ready. Brother Donnie, get ready. Brother Donnie, go in that aisle. Go in the closest aisle. He said, because something is going to happen in this place. Y'all talk about want it? No, you don't want it. You can't want it. You too busy being cute to want it. You don't want to mess your suit up. Oh, come on here, somebody. You don't want to break your Rolex. Hey! You don't want to lose your diamond earring. Come on here, church. Is there anybody that wants it? See, that's why, that's why in this last hour, you can't say, Pastor Parsley, look on me, and my hair is green, and I got two earrings in each nose, and a bull earring in this nose, and my eyebrow is pierced. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And my arms and my legs are tattooed, and I got a skirt on up to here. You can't look on me and find he said we ought to be able to get so far back in Christ until when they look at us, they don't see us. They see the power of God. Are y'all hearing what God is saying? And the Holy Ghost in this place tonight, he began to tell me, oh yeah, he said to me, he said it ain't going to be easy tonight. He said because you're getting ready to start preaching pure holiness. He said when you start talking about holiness, it's going to get quiet. And you know what's going to happen? Only those that are mine are coming out. Wait a minute. If you mad, you ain't his. If you can't receive this, then you ain't his. If you can't digest this, then you ain't his. Oh, I didn't come here to tell you no Bible story. Because you have to understand the giftings and the workings of a prophet. Here we go. Well, I don't see why. Why I got to do that? Well, what difference does it make? Well, see, I understand something. You know what the Holy Ghost said? He said, well, it's time to go to your next level. Do you know why I came in here? I came to go to my next level. He said, he said, well, it's time to go to see that's why your warfare is so hard pastor parsley because you're still holding up that standard of righteousness and they call us old-fashioned uh-huh that's what y'all call me she's so old-fashioned she's so way back there honey they ain't even doing that no more tired all that stuff that she talking about but i tell you what you may not like me and you may think i'm old-fashioned but you know what i got and I'm going to tell you how I got it. I got it by dying out to God. I got it by sacrificing. I got it by letting God kill me. I got it by letting God strip me. I got it because I wanted it more than I wanted purple hair and a earring in my nose and a mini skirt and a split and James Brown and Luther Vandross and Whitney Houston. I wanted it back. What did you give up? Since you got saved, you look the same, you walk the same, you talk the same, same body gestures, same friends, same records, same CDs. What did you get saved from? righteous 
You ain't righteous. You a hypocrite. You a liar. And you a thief. You in here, watch this. You feel this presence in here? This is what we say. Watch this. Watch. It's the anointing. And every time I go to church, I feel the anointing. Well, you know what? One day, Bishop, I went to the car dealership to buy a car. And it was an expensive car. It was a Mercedes. And the man said, get in the car. Ride around. Got in the car, rolled around. He said, you like this car? I said, yeah. Do you like the way it handle? I said, yes. He said, you want this car? I said, yes. He said, let's go back to the dealership. Went back to the dealership. I love the car. I love the way it feels. I love the way it drove. I love the way it handled. But when I got back to the dealership, he said, give me the keys. Because until you pay for it, you can't take it home. See, a lot, of, a lot of us today, we came in here to steal the anointing that's in the building. But the reason why when you get back to your house and hell is still there, because you ain't paid the price to take that anointing home. He said, if you want the power, what are you willing to pay for it? Say it! Say it! Say it! What are you willing to pay for it? Time to pay up. Stop speaking in tongues if you ain't gonna pay up. Stop jumping and shouting and you ain't gonna pay up. You thief, you. You didn't pay for that shout. You didn't pay for them tongues. You didn't pay for that praise. You stole it. I hear a little song. I hear a little song. Get right with God. And do it now. Get right with God. He will show you how. Down at the cross. Where he shed his blood. You better get right with God. Get right. Get right with God. So you know why? You know we can't receive that? You know what we can't see that? Because it ain't. Yeah, funky, funky. Hey, yeah, funky, funky. Hey. start singing an old praise that God done gave her old church mother while she was on a 50 day fast you can't hardly receive that because your spirit is far away from God say it say it say it get right with God and do it now Get right with God. He will show you how. Down at the cross. Ha, where he shed his blood. Get right with God. Get right. Get right with God. Breathe. Hold me. Let it breathe. You know what? I hear the church coming up out of here. I hear God's church coming. Let it breathe. Hold me. Let it breathe. Hold me. Let the breath. Hold me. Yes! Well, I think I hit 
the church coffee. What's getting ready to happen in here because you can't sing that song and the power of God don't step in your belly the seconds the Holy Ghost said this place is getting ready to turn into a big car wash I know y'all came to camp meeting for one thing but is there anybody here want to be washed tonight is there anybody here that want to be washed tonight washed see what's gonna happen is some of y'all pastors is going back with another charge see we said we want revival in our churches but do you know how 5,000 was converted persecution when Peter and John started preaching Holiness. When the persecution hit them for what they were preaching, then God added to the church. Here we talk about, well, I ain't gonna say that because, so you don't wanna hurt people. You don't wanna hurt they feel it. What you wanna do, just let them just come on. And you know what the Bible said? The Bible let us know we can come as we are. But baby, you can't stay as you are. Honey, you've been here five years now. And you still wearing a miniskirt? You've been here five years now? Y'all ain't saying nothing here. You mean to tell me you've been in church seven years and we still don't see no change? There ought to be something about your outer appearance that can testify you that's testifying tonight. Is there anybody touch your name and ask them that? Tell them to come to the next person. Turn around and ask somebody else. Is there anything about you that's testifying tonight? Something getting ready to happen in here. Just turn around and grab one person and tell them I'm getting ready to give God a real yes. Oh, come on, tell them to grab somebody and say, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, I may fall on you. I may start running. But I'm getting ready to give God a real yes. Everybody in here, start telling God a yes. Start telling God a yes.
and face that way. Turn around and face that way. Pastor, can you turn around and face this way in that center aisle? Bishop, can you turn around and face that way in that center aisle over there? Right here in the striped suit. Pastor Woods, can you come over here? Matter of fact, y'all can't see him. Y'all come up here. Come stand on that first ledge. Bishop, come stand on that first ledge. Pastor, stand, stand on this first ledge over here. Down this stand right there. And God said, this is a corporate power. And something getting ready to hit this building. He said, when these men of God stretch their hands out over in your section, under the bush, he said, I'm going to break demon spirits. I'm going to hold my shoulder over this. He said, the enemy's tactic is going to be broken. He said, the power of God can really hit this place. And this is how I want you to do it. I want you to make up your mind right now that you ain't going to stop telling God yes until you feel fire in your belly. You ain't going to let your neighbor stop you. You ain't going to let your earway stop you. You ain't going to let your outfit stop you. You ain't going to let your head stop you. Ain't nothing going to stop you. Now, if you don't want this, you sit down. But God said, I promise you, when they stretch their hands up, he said, fire, like it was in the upper room, is going to sit on top of every last one of us. And whether or not that fire get in your belly, it's going to be whether or not you tell God yes. All back there in them bleachers, some of y'all may fall out of the power of God. He said, but begin to holler as loud as you can until you feel God turn them in your belly. Come on, one. A wave is coming. A wave is coming in television. Right there in your living room. Right there in your
my neighbor. Grab one neighbor. You don't know what's getting ready to happen across this country when we say this. Handle the bullshit.